So I'll try to be rather brief because I know all of you must be hungry and uh, just highlight few pickups that I take from this conference. I think we have focused really on apprenticeships as a learning pathway and I want to really stress this because I know there have been some uh, active tweeting around why are we here and of course the end results for apprenticeships one of the key success factors for uh, their end results is whether they lead to employability, immediate job, but also long-term employability. But they are by, itself, by themselves a learning pathway. And I think we all agreed, as we have seen from the various uh, speeches so far. We have heard on one hand of uh, reforms taking place at national level, at regional level, in Europe, beyond Europe, and I think we are very proud of the progress that has been made. And um, we have heard also from companies, very inspirational companies, companies that they have training in DNAs. I think this is quite exceptional. We want more of this. Companies that believe in VET as a tool for social transformation. And uh, we can only say that the examples of these companies should be followed all across the EU, be it for multinationals, for SMEs of all sizes. So I would say we need more of this Empresa Formadora. We have heard from learners, and I think uh, they have given us uh, good and bad experiences, but they have also passed a few key messages for all of us. First is that from their point of view, they need very clear information at all stages of their apprenticeships. Before they embark on these pathways, what are the options that they have, what they could expect from these pathways during the pathway, and also towards the end, so that they are clear what's follow-up, either in terms of job, career opportunities, or further education and training. And we've seen already with um, the Basque examples that uh, these issues are very well taken care and uh, looked at uh, in um, the system. We also heard from them that they want the, throughout their apprenticeships, there is a constant focus on the learning outcomes that they are there to achieve. If someone starts in the construction, they want at the end to get construction skills, of course, with all the set of social soft skills uh, that uh, should be attached to every vet opportunity. We also heard from them, and I think we all agree, that they want at the end to receive recognition, validation of the skills that they acquired in the national context, but also we welcome very much this message in a cross-European international context. So that's another message I pick up from them. And we also heard that they are happy when at the end of the apprenticeships, they could tick all these conditions and they could also land on a good job or on new uh, education and training opportunities. So if I take for myself, for my colleagues, a few messages from this uh, conference is that there is lots of good work going on and we have to follow up on it. We have to follow up on the messages we heard from the young people to deliver on their expectations from us in all our capacities. And we have good basis to uh, build upon. And when we do this, I think we should be proud of it. We should share all the initiatives, all the good um, developments uh, that take place. And uh, we should not be shy of talking about it, showing the, leading the way, showing, inspiring others. So I would like to welcome all of you that are here, that are involved with apprenticeships, to join the European family, to join the alliance. And for those of you that work with VET in general, be it apprenticeship, school-based, combination of this, to also join the Vocational Skills Week and make our voice uh, be heard even further. And, uh, I would like to close by um, addressing a big thank you on behalf of the Commission to the hosts, to the Vice uh, Minister for really facilitating this uh, uh, European, regional, but also uh, international uh, exchange on apprenticeships and we are very grateful for your inspirational words and also uh, very looking up to the reforms that you are fostering in the Basque region. I would also like to ask uh, to thank uh, Camila from the Basque delegation because she was also instrumental in making this happen in uh, making sure that uh, what would have been a very interesting and very 
powerful um, Basque event was even uh, uh, enhanced further with the participation of the Euro representatives of the European Alliance for Apprenticeship. So a big thank. And last but not least, colleagues in my team, Norbert, Helen, and Diana, they are here with us, but also the back office that has been very busy tweeting and reporting uh, to the large community, vet community of uh, the happenings of today. So wishing you very good trip back home, that all of us take something, uh, a highlight that we want to follow up after this conference and looking forward to meeting again in a future context. Thank you very much.